Hey everyone, you may be asking, where's the show? Well, YouTube does not like us that much. We only post the wacky news stories here, things that are less controversial. If you want all the other topics, and I think you know what I'm talking about, you have to listen to those on other platforms. We still stream live. We stream live on Twitch, float.app, and DLive. And those are at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday and then 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday. As always, you can download the audio-only podcast for free. You can check the description in this video or go to obdmpod.com. The shows march on. We haven't stopped. It's just we have stopped uploading full shows and streaming to YouTube. Thanks, and here's another wacky news segment. Now, when it comes to other current events that are going on, the uh, the Pentagon has decided to form a new office. Oh, yes, the Pentagon. Yes, Pentagon forms a group to examine unexplained aerial sightings. Now, I think Herman had a, a particular article that uh, yeah, you guys so wanted me to read. Credit to Herman from Holland. Um, let me drop this in Carrot Shop. Because it, this is the official press release from okay. the Defense Department. And the Defense Department loves their jargon. Yeah, they do. So if you br bring up uh, this article here, which is just a press release, I'm sure you have a better story. Uh, just read that first paragraph. Okay, well, uh, let me, I'll, I'll just go ahead and do that. I was going to read the article, but let me just go ahead and do exactly what well, you can what do this afterwards. Asking. I mean, it would have the same effect. But. Oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll just intro it and then. Yeah, fuck it. I'll just I'll do exactly what you said. Um, so you said the second paragraph? Oh, I'm sorry, the first paragraph. First, okay, it's not a very big press release. I think I can. I might be able to read the whole entire thing. Well, well I, I just want you to focus on the first paragraph, and you'll see why once you get into it. All right. All right, so this is from uh, the U.S. Department of Defense, November 23rd, 2021. And this is a DOD announces the establishment of Airborne Object Identification and Management Synchronization Group, or AOIMSG. All right. Well, according to the press release, this is what it says. Today, the Deputy Security of Defense, Kathleen Hicks, is cl in close collaboration with the Director of National Intelligence, directed the Undersecretary of Defense for Intelligence and Security to establish within the office of the USD and uh, USD in parentheses, INS, the Airborne Object Identification and Management Synchronization Group as the successor to the Navy's Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon Task Force. The AOIMSG will synchronize efforts across the department and the broader U.S. government to detect, identify, and attribute objects of interest in special use airspace and to assess and oh, mitigate... Oh, you acronyms, though. I mean, it's, it's re the... A, okay, special use airspace, the SUA, and assess and mitigate any associated threats to s uh, safety of flight and national security. To provide oversight to the AOIMSG, the Deputy, uh, Deputy Security also directed the USD and I and S to lead the Airborne Object Identification Management uh, Executive Council, the AOIMEXEC, <laughs> to... Com beca to be comprised of DOD and intelligence community membership and offer a venue for U.S. government interagency representation. Incursion by any airborne object into the SUA poses safety and flight and operational security concerns and may pose national security challenges. DOD takes reports of incursion by any airborne object identified or unidentified very seriously and invest investigates each one. This decision is a result of planning efforts in collaboration conducted by OUSD, INS, and DOD elements at the direction of Deputy Secretary Hicks to address the challenges associated with addressing UAP occurring on or near DOD train training ranges and installations heightened <laughs> by the DNI preliminary assessment reported submitted to Congress by in June of 2021. 
The report also identified the need to make improvements in process, policies, technologies, and training to improve our ability to understand UAP. In coming weeks, the department will issue implementing guidance, which will contain further details on the AOIMSG director, (laughs) organizational structure authority, and resourcing. I just love that. Not only do they have the AOI MSG, but now there's an executive council. So there's the AOI MEX EX. It's like, come on, would you guys knock this shit off? This is like somebody wrote this as a gag. This is crazy. I'm wondering how you pronounce that. Is that the IO Mexic, Mex, Mexic, Mexic, AOI Mexic? It just destroyed my brain. That's it. I'm done today. (laughs) I am. But that was like literally every. (laughs) <laughs> every scrap of brain cell I had was used to just try to get through that. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, I just, I just saw when, when I saw that link uh, again, thanks to Herman for, for tracking that down. Um, when I saw that link with all the acronyms. Just look visually at that first paragraph there. The amount of shit in there, apparently, especially the second half. It's a bunch of like, we, gobbledygook. We, we've got re- <laughs> to read this on the it's show. It's a bunch of gobbledygook. It's a bunch of malarkey. Uh, yeah. Uh, Joe Biden would call, would call it uh, a bunch of malarkey, not in the actual article. I, I think they do. They might do yeah, a better say, job. Maybe, maybe an actual story. This is why we have people who can write coherent sentences about journalism. Yeah. Uh, I'll just dig into this. Uh, so the article says some people believe any phenomenon exhibiting technology be beyond the ability of the United States needs to be. Uh, studied deeply skeptics believe most or all the sightings including videos recorded by camera on military fighter jets can be explained by tricks of optics or naturally occurring phenomenon but the military research that underpinned the intelligence report did little to address those theories or provide specific explanations for various sightings that have captured the public's imagination oh yeah it's uh very concerning and uh I mean, I don't know what to make of this. I thought like when it, when this came out, like the initial report came out in uh, June, or even before then, mm-hmm. I said I said that because of this report, they are going to create some sort of new group that it was going to be a scient a scientific group mm-hmm. of of people, so they could start to. Yeah, you said, you said a little subject bit more. matter experts, scientists, and people from Congress. They would like Congress would make this this committee, yeah. but I instead we've got the Defense Department going. Like, what if we took all the magnetic letters off my fridge that the kids been putting up there, and I threw them at the wall and named it that, and then worked backwards to come up with the Ioyo Mexico XXX, and then uh, they'll do nothing because this to me this sounds like lip service. This sounds like yeah, we'll look into that because people keep asking about it. Shut up. What they said was, what we need here is another layer of bureaucracy to really and clear things up. Note the last sentence from the, the press release, which says they need more resources. They need money. Yes, of course. Well, in the coming I mean, weeks, in the coming weeks, the department will issue implementate, implementing guidance. What the hell that ever that means? We'll come up with some general rules, which will contain further, further details on organizational structure, the number of people we need to hire, authorities, what we can actually do or not do, and resourcing, aka money. Space Force. There you go. Space, Space Force. Tax. And I've been saying that for a long time. Like this play, if they're not going to use this as an angle to get more tax dollars, uh, then I, I, I think just we're being naive. It's, it's going to be used for space, a space tax. You, just, you, know, you raised a good point. So they note here that they, this is going to um, give them uh, uh, authority to identify, detect, identify, and attribute uh, or tribute objects of interest in the special use airspace. What the hell is that? You know, special use airspace, is that like military test ranges? Is that like the area over Area 51? Um, well, you see that's a restricted airspace. Yeah, okay. So so here's, here's what it says in the article. The group will focus on special use airspace, which includes military operations areas, firing ranges, and places restricted for national security and other uses. In memo... Dr. Hicks said unidentified aerial phenomenon in special use areas represent a potential safety issue for military pilots and raise potential NASA security concerns. So over missile silos, over test ranges, over aircraft carriers, they don't care what happens in commercial airspace. Yeah. 
Well, to or hell with the commercial just, airspace. How long until the FAA comes out and says, "Okay, we've now identified at all you know all airports which are restricted airspace, and you have to be uh, that's it's controlled airspace. You have to be you know basically guided through there or go around it or go over it. Um, we've identified all of those are now special use airspace, and uh, we're in charge now. They have to militarize all of the airspace if you Possible. want protection from these UFOs. From the UFOs, which are rampant, they're everywhere. And also, you need to pay us a tax so we can uh, fight the aliens. Maybe so, maybe that could be it. We might have to see some airline disasters, and they might have to blame UFOs for this. And then, therefore, the only people that can really police the skies would be the military. Oh, see, Boeing should have done that when they, when they had those guys auger their uh, 737 into the ground. They should have been like, yeah, it was aliens. Yep. It is, it is kind of a, a missed opportunity, but it's not too late to to write the ship for them. Okay, so you're going to love this. So from the FAA, Aliens! special use airspace, that term is an umbrella term, which includes restricted airspace, prohibited airspace, military operations areas, warning areas, alert areas, temporary flight restrictions, national security areas, and controlled firing areas. Oh, my God, Jay. So that's a generic umbrella term. They can be like, we can just make whatever we want to be special use airspace and no, we're in charge. Yeah. That Interesting. Is... All right. Uh, hmm. I wonder, All right. So was the FAA called out in this one specifically? I, I don't. I didn't see no. any mention of the FAA Interesting. at all. You're right. This is all DOD and, and uh, yeah, it's all DOD undersecretary defense. Yeah. So this is all DOD. So interesting. So I guess they, as military, can say, oh, no, no, this is a special use airspace. So we in charge now pay up. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. I wonder if there is going to be a civilian version of the same group. Oh, they should have another group that could meet. But then you'd need a group that would have to meet to coordinate the efforts between the other two groups. That would be Homeland Security. No, nope. you need another group. You need another a group that is not a t- it, it it would be some office within homeland security that coordinates between the dod and like the quasi civilian version of that for the faa what if it was just carrot top that was his job okay <laughs> i think he actually makes now. a pretty good living in vegas but in vegas uh, doing maybe comedy. he wants a nice side gig <laughs> he might want a, a good side gig who knows oh. okay I, I changed my nomination uh shatner Shatner, okay, I'm I'm with you with Shatner. You, you we, we would call the United States Department of Shatner. Okay, get Shatner it's his, it's in his he, own building, and he sits in there, and he takes a phone. He has two phones, so he talks to one group, talks to the other group, and he has to pass information back and forth. I like that, and then, and then he, he he can filter what he doesn't want to pass back and forth. Kirk here, Spock here. <laughs> That's yeah, he and he has to wheel around uh, Litter Nimoy's dead corpse with him everywhere he goes. Like his le- Leonard Nimoy's ashes on his desk, <laughs> and he has his own phone too. The ash, the, the urn the has an, their own phone. Yeah, the urn has his own phone. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he always keeps saying, I, "I can't make a decision until I hear back from science Survival office response." Procedures, Mr. Sulu. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'd get more done with that. And actually. George Takai has to sit there looking pissed off. We would get more done with that kind of setup than we'd get with the at least more answers than with the DOD. Well, we're not going to get less answers. That's for sure. That, yeah, okay. We're not going to get less answers. <laughs> all right. Well, hey, people, it's all happening. There's no doubt about that. We're going to move on to some other things. Well, you want to woo Give us an email at ourbigdumbmouth at gmail.com. Check out obdmpod.com for all the social media and donation links. Be a part of the magic.